Yes, it's all aboard the S-Bahn and off to Messe Berlin for the first day of IFA, once the great German radio and phonograph show, now the Global International Festival of Funk, a public exposition of consumer electronics and, in more recent years, home appliances too. The real show doesn't start until Friday. Your humble correspondent here enjoys privileged media access to what at this point looks more building site than slick uber modern electronic expo. It's amazing how much of a show like this gets nailed together in the final 48 hours. So, what can we tell you at this stage? Well, the press got special early briefings from Sony and Panasonic and from the awfully nice Aoife people themselves. Here they are with the especially nice Miss Aoife and they set forth the state of the electronics industry and its path to the future. Then it was on to Panasonic's big press conference, where they read from a script projected on the back of the hall, and they told us about their heat pumps and their eco-technologies, and how they bought Alpio, the music streaming service, and how they're going to stream that to cars even if they're in the desert with no internet coverage, although they didn't entirely explain how they'd do that. In sound and image terms, though, the highlight of the Panasonic launch was definitely the big TV. Let's let them tell you about that. To see what is in store for the next stage of our TV evolution, Mr. Miyabe and I are very excited to show you yet another milestone in the TV history of Panasonic. Let us introduce to you Panasonic's first ever 4K Ultra HD TV, the Smart Viera 65 inch WT600. <laughs> They stood there for quite a while like that and neglected to tell us whether this magnificent WT600 was a plasma or an OLED or what. It's actually an LCD LED, uh, like all the other 4K sets, although this one does have, and this is more exciting than it sounds, it has HDMI 2.0, which was also announced today. This doubles the bit rate of HDMI, allowing 4K at 50 or 60 hertz, always assuming you can find some. On to Sony next, who had painted everything white as usual and had introduced a new cheer the press as they come in policy, which we hope to see introduced in Australia soon. They didn't have enough chairs, but they did have their global CEO, Mr Kazuo Hirai, who most definitely gives good keynote, uh, but owing to the lack of seating, our audio feed wasn't very good, uh, which is ironic given the exciting announcement that Sony is going gung-ho at high-resolution audio, with a Walkman, a 1TB HD music player, plus amps and speakers. Their top news was the Xperia Z1 phone, which could do everything, of course. In news to come, we were amused to note that a keynote speech by head monster Noel Lee, his keynotes are always very fun, uh, he'll have brand ambassador Swizz Beats. Uh, Swizz Beats is apparently a US hip-hop dude and not merely a comment on the value offered by Dr. Dre's headphone brand, which of course is no longer with Monster. There's much more to come from Sound and Image at IFA. Stay tuned to avhub.com.au for more excessive electronic excitement. <laughs>